Is Moon Express going to be the first private mission to land on the moon? Absolutely, there is no doubt in my mind that we will be the first company ever to land on the moon. You guys just made history in getting FAA approval for this launch. We became the first company ever to actually get a permission to leave Earth orbit. There are laws and regulations under the Outer Space Treaty that the United States had to follow. And the fact that they, in a short period of time, gave us a permission to be able to go land on the moon, that is, a, as a quoting Joe Biden, is a BFD. <laughs> a BFD, yeah, it is a BFD. <laughs> You're a massive step closer to putting this lander on the moon by December 31st of 2017. We already have the rocket and to really build all the software ready to go and land on the moon by 2017. In some sense now, we're simply running against the clock. This particular mission here, yeah. you're gonna land a roughly 20 pound lander on the moon. You have to move it or 500 meters in any direction. You have to transmit HD video and HD images back to the Earth. How hard is the architecture to actually pull that off, to well, put together? So this is a micro lander that's going on a small rocket uh, made by Rocket Lab. And the beauty of the whole thing is the cost of this mission is under $10 million because the rocket is 3D printed, our lander is 3D printed. Is there any price to pay for the fact that that price is so low? Does it compromise the safety of the mission? The same technology that making the iPhones thinner and thinner is what's making the, our lander smaller and smaller. So but what are you guys trying to accomplish with these missions right now? I mean, is this just a proof of concept getting this lander to the moon? What are you guys actually looking to do once you get there? To record John F. Kennedy, we chose to go to the moon not, not because it's easy, because it's a good business. I don't think he said business. I think he said it because it's hard. I said recording. Right, okay, <laughs> recording. Okay, got it. Just a slight amendment there. Yeah. Uh, so why do you think going to the moon is a good business? It's been estimated the moon has 16 quadrillion dollar worth of uh, uh, minerals on the moon, right? And any which way you look at it, uh, as someone would say, it's a shitload of money. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But we're still, though, many steps away from being able to actually mine the moon and bring those but, minerals uh, back here to Earth. As a great entrepreneur, you always want to be where the puck is going to be, not where the puck is. So what we're doing is really looking ahead to see what are the great things we could do to make life for people on better on Earth, at the same time to allow the, our humanity to become a multi-planetary society so we don't have the single point of failure like dinosaurs did. Well, do you guys foresee a future where Moon Express is transporting humans course, to the moon? Of really? Course, of course. How far away do you think that is? 10 to 15 years away. 10 to 15 years. So you guys think that you'll be the first company to bring humans to the moon, private company? Are we going to be the first company to allow the honeymoon to be possible? <laughs> I, I would love to take my honeymoon on the moon.